Nick the Beard with Mexico Gods TV and I am with a couple of guys from Logan. How are you doing, man? All right. I'm good. <laughs> As I was saying, the last time I met you two guys, like, we were all in a really worse state for wear and it was really a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? It was just far too early in the morning. Your camera wasn't working, your beard wasn't the same colour. It was all just, it was all going wrong for us. So, uh, yeah, we've got a second shot at it today. Yeah. <laughs> well, you've got a bit of a graveyard shift tonight, though, haven't you? Yeah, aye. Uh, but you know what, we're going to embrace it because we've spent the whole day travelling, but we've been so excited about playing this gig. We're just going to go to our rooms, have a couple of beers, have a little sleep, and then get up just all refreshed, have a nice big rock gig, man, and then just get absolutely sozzled. That's fair enough. That's the plan, man. That yeah. is the plan. That's how we're going to play it this evening. So we're looking forward to it. Is it going to be the old stuff off the new album, or are you going to be playing some Do you know, stuff? we're actually... Um, we're going to play a bit of old and new, um, just you know, just for a bit of a change because it's kind of heavy music. You know, I think the last time we might have played a set that wasn't heavy enough. Um, so we want to play, kind of go back to our roots a little bit and just play some of the songs that we enjoy playing. Uh, so it's not necessarily about promoting the new record, which is awesome, by the way. <laughs> but we're just going to play the songs that we enjoy playing the most. And what have you got lined up after this? Are you, are you having a Christmas break or have you got other stuff to do? We're just going to have a nice little Christmas holiday with our loved ones. And then next year's going to be a busy year for us. We're planning to get out to America. It's all getting put in place just now, so we don't know too much about it. But um, there's a lot coming up, I think. Yeah, as of, kind of February next year, we're going to be, you know, our feet aren't going to touch the ground. We're going to be everywhere, UK and America. And I've even heard rumours of other places as well. We've actually uh, got a gig in Lithuania, believe it or not, but so that's going to be exciting, so uh, next year's going to be a big one. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's something you've not done for quite a while, it's a really big extended tour, isn't it? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, this year was really about getting a good record recorded, working with a, a really good producer and, and producing this record, and once we had that, that's a great platform from which then to tour. So it's just been, a lot of things have been getting put in place this year, um, it's taken a while to come together, obviously. We'd like to have been doing more, um, but everything's in place now, so next year's the big year for us. It's a really, really good, tight album. I really like it. Oh, well, I appreciate you saying that. I mean, we've, we really did pour heart and soul into it. Um, uh, and we've done, you know, experience. working with Keith Olsen himself was just, I mean, just who gets to do that? You know, it's like one of the biggest legends in the rock music industry. and. And you're standing in the same room as him, and he's saying, oh, "This is brilliant. This is great." And you're, you know, he's giving you a thumbs up, and you're thinking, "That's the same thumbs up he's giving to Ozzy Osbourne and all these famous people and all these brilliant people you've been listening to for years." And, and uh, it, was, it was just a story. Sometimes you had to actually kind of pinch yourself and think, "Is this happening? Is this happening to us? Five wee Scottish lads from Glasgow, and this is <laughs> Keith Olsen here." But you know, still, still amazed by it. So it's what, what, what a year it's been. You said you've had a pretty uh, long, arduous journey down here. How, was, how did that go? Was it all right? Uh, well, you know, it, it meant getting up quite early in the morning, and that's something none of us really like doing. I hate. I'd say it's a strong word, but I hate getting up that early in the morning. Yeah. So I could definitely could have done without that. We were going to leave yesterday, but the conditions up where we are just wouldn't have permitted it. It's terrible just now, like really, really bad snow. Cars are just stranded all over the place. So. Leave today. We thought we'd get here a lot later than we did, though. We made good time, so we're glad we got here a bit early. As Kenny said, we can get a bit of a rest and that before the gig, so yeah, it's all good. And, uh, out of all the bands you've toured with, I mean, is there any other bands that you'd, you wish you'd toured with and you'd love to tour with now? Uh, the, the list's endless. I mean, we, we all just love our rock music. Um, it'd be hard to pick one, you know, and but I mean, just you just need to go with whatever opportunity you get, you know. Um, just the opportunity to play. To that bigger audience, no matter who it is, really, is, is such a great experience, um, and and that's something that we we love doing is taking that cold crowd that don't know our music and don't know us at all, and kind of trying to win them over. Well, that's a great challenge for us, and, and, and we love it, you know. Because that's maybe our strongest day. Eh? I think so, yeah. I uh, think that's definitely our strongest. Even we go out, like the, one of the biggest gigs, well, the biggest gig we ever did was Bon Jovi, and it was like forty thousand plus people there, and out of the forty thousand, I would say maybe 200 people were aware of us and maybe even less than that actually knew any of our songs and, uh, and that was the most confident I think any of us have ever felt. I mean we walked out on that stage, there was no nerves, no fear, we just went out and we, we were up for the challenge and that's, we, that's definitely where our strengths lie so we're, we'd like to tour again hopefully in America with a big band who the crowd are unaware of who we are and then we can go out and I know we'll convert them every night. And would you say that's the highlight of 
your career by, by far, you know, touring Bon Jovi? No, I mean, that was a good day, good day, and it was good to play the Scottish National Stadium, Hamden, but it wasn't my career highlight for me, you know, I don't think so. I think uh, downloads was the best, best gig I've played. Would you agree with that one? Download was, you know, it was amazing because uh, we were probably the smallest stage in the whole the whole festival, really. I mean, it was still big. It was like, you know, a big a big tent kind of thing. Um, but you kind of don't know if anyone's going to show up. Yeah. Because it was such a strong bill that year, you know, there was, there was so many great people. I mean, we were standing in the backstage area and Joe Alette from Def, Def Leppard walked past and, and you're thinking, oh my God, that's, 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 that's the guy at Def Leppard, holy shit. What are we doing here? And then we go to the stage and we're thinking, there's no way, there's no way that anybody's going to show up. And then we walked up the ramp and the whole tent was packed, absolutely packed. And, and it was it was great sound, with really great sound, really fortunate to have brilliant sound that day. And, Fantastic. Uh, and the crowd just went crazy. And there was you know, big Scottish flags flying in the middle of the mosh pit and all that. And it was just, when we came off the stage and we burst into tears, it was strangely emotional. I think because the, with, the, with the Bon Jovi thing, you're walking out on the stage and you know for an absolute fact there's going to be at least 30,000 people there. We downloads, I mean we were up against Germany, who I really like, and we were on at the same time as them and we'd been to see other bands playing the same tent that we were playing earlier in the day and it was, I mean no disrespect to any of the bands, but it was, it was empty, you know, there was people sitting having picnics on the grass and so we, that's what we fully expected to get and as Kenny said, as we walked up the ramp, the tent was literally jam-packed and there was Logan uh, t-shirts, Scottish flags, uh, I think on the third song they had to draft an extra security because the tent was actually full and I didn't see this but I heard from the stage manager there's about 400 people around the outside of the tent as well and so to go from your expectations being you know 50 people having picnics and the, the reality being you know a thousand or more people all there to see you it was it was that you know you know surplus the expectation that happened that day which blew me away it totally blew me away more than anything else has yeah. it was fantastic you must be doing something right because we're definitely got out that day didn't it oh absolutely absolutely yeah it was just incredible great experience but when you when you tour the uk you there's little clusters of fans in each city that you recognize from being around all the time and at download that day you were looking out the crowd and you were seeing people from oh there's the people who come to see us in newcastle and there's people who come to see us in london and there's people who come to see us and it was big clusters of people from all over the uk they were all there that day and it was magical, it was totally fantastic. Uh, and finally, is there anything you'd like to say to the people looking at us now? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're actually um, chairman of a charity called Mansions for Scottish Rockers. And what this charity does is it provides um, five individual hard Scottish rockers with um, great funding to buy mansions. And how you donate is that you go out and you buy a record called The Great Unknown by a band called Logan. And all the money comes to them and they are able to enjoy quite a lavish lifestyle. So, you know, we're enjoying waiting to see how much people are going to donate. You know, and we've got to encourage people to buy the record in as many formats as possible. <laughs> CD, digital, vinyl, anything you can get it. Just buy as much as possible and it will help us enjoy a lifestyle that we think we deserve. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. Cheers, man. Thank you.